In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw a fluffy golden retriever. Begin by loosely drawing a circle on your paper, like so. And then you're going to draw the snout of the dog. It kind of looks like a lumpy cylinder shape. And then I'm going to add the neck onto the circle. This is a three-quarter view of the head. And there's the neck. And next I'm going to draw in the shape of the ear. Uh, it's kind of a floppy triangle shape. This uh, golden retriever is listening to something. And then that shape right there is just going to be the other ear. You'll see how it all comes together shortly. And I'm going to make that nose a little smaller. It looked a little long. Next I'm drawing in the eyes. They're going to be really close to where the, the snout and the head attach. And then there's the brow bone. And then there's the top of the skull. It's kind of got a, a crevice up there at the top. If you look closely at a, a dog, you'll see they've got that little bump up there. Uh, next I'm just loosely drawing the nose. Again, all these shapes, they're not like perfect shapes. They're just marking out where everything goes. And there's the mouth, and I'm pushing the corner of the mouth up into a smile. Because doggies always look like they're smiling whenever they, they're panting. Like this dog will be panting. And I'm finishing in the bottom part of the mouth. I, you can see I added a little bit of a tooth there. Hanging out. And then there's the chin and the jaw. I'm finessing the eye shape a little bit more. Now giving the eye pupil. It's just a couple of circles within the eyes. And now I'm drawing the flaps of the ear. I realize this may look like it's going incredibly fast uh, and I do apologize. It, it's been a little while since I've been able to uh, do any lessons, um, family life and all. So I will try to remember to slow down a little bit for future lessons, but you can always uh, pause if you need to take a break to check your own drawing and of course rewind and go back and watch again. And here now I'm just I'm going all over the place uh, filling in details little by little. Moving things around just a smidgen. You know, I always like to take a moment to step back and look at what I'm doing and then I'll go in and I'll readjust something. And you can see I've added some tufts of hair because um, golden retrievers are fluffy. Very fluffy dogs. I'm adding some whisker dots. Adding another tuft of hair on that other ear. And I'm going to shorten the top of the head and, s and smooth it out. It looked a little, a little too lumpy up there. And you know what? I'm going to move the corner of the mouth down just a little bit. There. I think that looks a bit better. As you can see, I don't have my gray kneaded eraser that you may be used to watching me use. And uh, you'll see why when I erase everything. And here with the Sharpie marker just starting at one point and pulling down to the next. And I totally forgot to add the little reflective circles on the eyes with the pencil and I'm sorry <laughs> uh, you guys can go back with a pencil if you need to. You don't have to do it freehand with a sharpie like I did. Or if you're feeling really brave and uh, confident, you may absolutely do it with a sharpie like I did. Whatever works for you.
believe it or not, I I do have a little bit more difficult time um, drawing dogs than I do, say, cats or even human faces, which is ironic because dogs are probably one of the most popular creatures there are. Everyone's favorite pet seems to be dogs. And uh, I can see why, even though I'm not a dog person. Um, they're just so cheerful. They always look like they're smiling at you. Okay, you're about to find out why I don't use the kneaded eraser. See, see everything's shaking. Um, I've got a new setup, and uh, the camera is attached to my desk, which is um, not bolted to anything. So when I erase, um, it shakes the desk, which in turn shakes the camera. Um, and it's not too bad with my little uh, eraser that you see me using here, this little click like mechanical eraser thing um, but it's really bad with the kneaded eraser I mean because I'm just oh it's wobbling horribly when I use the kneaded eraser so for now I'll be using this one um, you don't have to or you can if you want to I mean it's very useful I like using it for detail work mainly um, and you can get it at an arts and crafts store And of course, the downside is, unlike the kneaded eraser, this one creates a lot of dust. You see I'm having to wipe the dust away. And it's kind of a annoying thing to deal with, but it is what it is. You may be noticing the ants, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what it is that's on my desk that's attracting them, but I will find it eventually. It's probably some leftover candy from the holidays. I'm sure, you know, I'm not the only one who does that, right? Leaving candy out? Ha ha ha. I think that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of smudge. You may not be able to see it on camera, but I like to clean that up a bit. So now I'm just going to fill in a few shadows here uh, for the dog's eyes. I'm going to make them a solid black, uh, even though in re real life, dog's eyes are usually brown with a pupil. Um, it just wouldn't look as, I don't know, friendly, I guess. I want to look a little bit more human. And the nose, I'm just going to fill in with the Sharpie marker, even though I had a nice dimensional look going on there. Um, you know, if you want to color yours with colors, um, you can put a little bit of shine on the nose or uh, make it a gray instead of a, a black. And um, here you can see I'm adding some black around the bottom of the dog's lip. And just a little afterthought there with the bridge of the nose. And I'm going to shade in the inside of the mouth just a tad. Helps uh, show the difference between the mouth and the tongue. So there you have it. A happy, fluffy, golden retriever. Mm -hmm.